So before I start today's vlog, I just want to thank Universal Orlando for being so awesome. An incident happened a couple days ago and they really helped me out via Twitter and guest services. They were able to give me fast passes for today. So thank you Universal and uh, let's get the day started. I ain't feeling lonely and I want to make it time to end the right. What's up YouTube? How are you guys doing today? So I'm coming to you from the front of my apartment complex because today is the solar eclipse and we're about three minutes away from it coming over Orlando, Florida and it's going to be a partial solar eclipse. It's not going to be a full one unlike some areas of the country. I don't know where you guys are. It may be different but here we're just going to get a partial solar eclipse which I'm super excited to see because I never really seen anything like this and I love science. So let's check it out. Ooh, it just got a little dark really really quick. Ooh. I'm excited. Oh, I see it. I see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I see it. There's a distance between us. It's getting hard to reach. So I just went through security and one thing that I always try to do when I come to Universal is try not to bring a bag. It just speeds up process, especially going through security and riding the rides because Universal don't let you take your bags on the rides like Disney does. So it's just easier not bringing a bag if you can. Also in just a couple of weeks, Halloween Horror Nights 27 along with all the houses that have still not been all announced yet, but we have a good portion of them. I know the scare zones was just released the other day. So since I do have the unlimited express for today, let's see is express really worth it. Let's see how many rides we can get on and how many things we can do in a period of time and uh just let you guys know is it worth spending the money or not? Let's go check it out. Oh wow, the first thing we notice as we walk in, they finally do have things from building to building for Halloween Horror Nights. I do want to say one thing that Disney does not have is Transformers. And this is one of the highlights that Universal does have over Disney. Hey, are you ready for Halloween Horror Nights? Night? What? Are you ready for oh, Halloween Horror no, Nights? I don't like that. No. You don't like that? No, you don't do that? Scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look at the stage for Academy of Villains as we have copyrighted music in the background thanks to the SpongeBob Superstar Parade. But ignore that! But look at the stage! It's almost time. Holy cow. Wow, guys. This is the scare zone this year that's going to be called Trick or Treat. This is the first sign that says Halloween Horror Nights. Wow, they have jack-o'-lanterns galore. Bunch of scarecrows and ghosts. Oh man, they are adding some lights. Looks, looks like all these pumpkins will be lit up because they do have lights in them. They have like some doorways so it looks like you can like come up and maybe trick or treat and ring the bell and someone pops out and scares the daylights out of you. Here's another one. Oh, this one has a cute little reef on it. Oh, here's something else. Huh. Interesting. Oh, this one looks creepy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, look at that. They added a face on the light. All right, let's go have our first ride on Transformers. My favorite ride. It's a 55 minute wait, but I do have Express, so let's go check it out. And there is a little bit of a line for Express, so I'm curious to see how fast we'll get through the line. Okay, we saved the world. Then speaking of Halloween Horror Nights, this is my favorite stay and scream area. It's really the biggest because they do have Finnegan's and you can get you a drink while you're waiting to be released into Halloween Horror Nights. But you have the option of going to two houses, which last year was over here, which was The Walking Dead. And then The Exorcist was back over there by Rip Ride Rocket. So keep that in mind when you come to Halloween Horror Nights. Let's have our second ride on The Mummy. So by me not bringing a bag, you can bypass the lockers and just go right onto the ride. Guys, the mummy is amazing. I don't know if I haven't just been on it for a while, but I feel like they added some new like lighting effects. It was pretty awesome. I kind of want to do that again, especially since I have the express pass. I don't think I showed you guys my express pass, but they just basically give you a paper ticket and you put it on your lanyard and you just take this on every ride and you get to go in the express lane. And then just right outside the Universal Halloween Horror Night store, they have a house right here, which last year was The Walking Dead. Let's go have a ride on Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon. I haven't been on this since opening weekend, so let's see if anything changed. So I got right on Jimmy Fallon because I do have the Express Pass, but normally you need the virtual line pass, which gives you a time to come back to ride it. But since I have Express, you just get right on. Panda, panda, panda. Why, why are you macking for? Why are you macking for? What's up, homie? What's up, homie? What's up, homie? 
Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, this ain't Disney. <laughs> Just chilling. I love it. It's good to see you, Panda Pound. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Race through New York was okay. It was my second time riding it. Got a little smoother, but I don't know. It's just it's not my favorite ride. I would think they would have done way better, but it's okay. It's, it's nice to do. So right in this area, you usually have two houses back here. Last year was Ghost Town and The Exorcist. And then American Horror Story was right over there by Despicable Me. But not really sure what houses will be here this year. But let's go have some thrill on Rip Ride Rocket. Heck yeah. Well, that was fun, but that I did wait in line the most. It was about 20 minutes. It was a little delayed. I don't know why, but again, have an express 20 minute wait compared to the 75 minute wait like it is now. This was where American Horror Story was last year. I think this is where American Horror Story will be this year. But it looks like they're back there doing some type of work. However, we do know that there are a couple houses that's already coming. The American Horror Story is coming back. Probably it's going to be in the exact same spot as it was last year. The Shining is coming back. And I do think The Shining may be right over here in this area where The Exorcist was last year. And then we have Saw. Game of Jigsaw. I'm excited about this house because I love Saw. And it's a tense, a tense movie. And I believe that house will be over in the Shrek queue. Not 100% sure yet, but that's all the rumors. And those are the houses that we know for sure that are coming this year to Halloween Horror Nights 27. And this year, New York Scare Zone will be The Purge, which I'm really, really, really excited about because I do love The Purge franchise. And we have some more show lighting on top of these buildings also. Oh, look at the Fast and the Furious warehouse. It looks amazing. Here's the front part where the queue will start. But I'm just curious, is this going to be the same ride as it was in Hollywood? I really hope not, because it was very, very short. All right, guys, let's become a wizard. It's been so long. They did add express so let's go ride it i love express we're just bypassing the line and the line was 65 minutes this is awesome oh hey there dude what's going on you getting ready for halloween horror nights too and fear factor live is closed because it is making room for bill and ted's and this is the final time bill and ted's will be at halloween horror nights as they're saying goodbye for their farewell tour and there is one of the houses that is a tent and they're making the front facade on it right now. But last year this was Chance's house. Wonder what house that would be this year. But it's close. Look at that. Let's go have a ride on one of my favorite rides here, Man in Black. It's a 25 minute wait. Let's see how long it'll take with Fast Pass. Or Express Pass. I don't know why I keep calling Fast Pass. Used to Disney. And there's pretty much no line so we're getting right on the ride. So, so far Express has been very, very worth it. I got the whole thing to myself, guys. Let's do it. Not my best, but it's pretty good. I'm not gonna ride the Simpsons ride just because it always usually gives me a headache and I'm already having a small headache as is, so I'm gonna skip this for the time being. Coming up on the SpongeBob store in the ET ride, this will be the future interest to Nintendo Land. Really, really excited about that because they're gonna have a Mario Kart ride which that was my childhood super excited about that and this is another entrance to two halloween horror nights house they usually do the barney queue last year was halloween and tomb of the ancients don't really know what it will be this year i would think maybe this is the last year they're going to have two halloween horror nights houses back here because construction is going to start on nintendo land but since we're back here let's go have a ride on et i got the whole bike to myself all right let's give minions another shot it's a 55 minute wait Hello, I grew. What's your name? Where are you from? Wow, that... All right, so I'm heading out of Universal Studios and we'll go grab some pizza because it's lunchtime and I'm starving. Then make our way over to Islands Adventure, ride Kong, maybe a few other rides, and then head home. All right, we're going to eat lunch at Red Oven Pizza Bakery. And it looks like when you order, they make your pizza fresh. Not bad for $13. This looks delicious. It's really, really good. It was super cheap. $14. Got me a whole pizza and a drink. And they had annual pass holder discount. 
not a bad price. So I highly recommend coming here because it was good and very, very reasonable price. All right, so now we're over here at Islands of Adventure. We've got two missions, ride King Kong and ride the Hulk. Then I'll probably call it a day because it's starting to get hot and I have to work tonight. So I don't want to be too wore out for work. But for now, let's go have fun. It's a lot quieter over here at Islands of Adventure. Spider-Man is only 20 minutes, Hulk's only 10 minutes. A lot less crowded over here. Well, this is pretty awesome. You just bypass all of the line. And then you get right on the ride with Express. About 10 minutes later, we're about to get on it. Not bad at all. I'm pretty sure it just broke down. This isn't good. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Kong! Yeah! Yeah! Hey, can someone let me borrow their kid to ride this? <laughs> I've always wanted to ride it, but you have to have a kid. Kong was amazing as always. Really, really cool ride. Now, I just have one more mission. Which is to ride the Hulk. My favorite roller coaster here. It's only 10 minute wait, but we do have Express. Let's do it. So the uh, Green Goblin is just chilling, taking selfies. So when you do have Express, that's the regular line where people with non-Express have, but when you do have Express, you guys go through the Express lines. The Hulk was amazing, like always, but fun fact about the Hulk, I can only ride that one time, because I always get like a little headache after I ride it. There's just so much G-force on that ride. I don't think my body can take it, especially in this heat. All right, so I'm leaving Universal, and all in all, it was a really fun day. I highly recommend Express. Especially if you have the money, go ahead and get it. It's $84. It's a little pricey, but it is highly worth it. I really, really do recommend it. Got on so many rides in, in not even that much time. I got here about 12.30. It's almost five o'clock now, so not even five hours, and I got all that done. Also got to see all the Halloween stuff that's coming up. It's, it's not that far. About three weeks, guys, and it'll be Halloween Horror Night season. I read all your guys' comments on my 100th video, so I just want to say thank y'all for all the love and comments. Really, really do appreciate it. So that giveaway will happen sometime next week, so be looking forward for that. But as far as now, thank y'all for watching. Treat others the way be treated. Too much negativity going on right now that we won't get into. But just love one another and YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out.